one play, it ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Boy, two out short. And Francis in Ghana. Here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou, DC. Prevailing wisdom is that eventually he's gonna find his way back into the UFC title fight. Had the first fight against Stipe that didn't go his way. This is as big a power threat as this division really has ever seen. You don't lose, you get an opportunity to learn. Right. And Francis Ngannou learned from the fight with Stipe Miocic at UFC 220. And it was evident when he made his way back to the octagon. Curtis Blades was a guy that could employ the same type of strategy as Stipe Miocic did, but Francis disposed of him in the first round. Cain Velasquez was another guy that could employ that strategy. Francis disposed of him in 28 seconds. He's only getting better because he has not been fighting for very long. DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that home. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication. At this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath, right? right? You hear a big, oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Bottom fighter trying to control posture on him to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, this is where you don't wanna be, though. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Close guard here, he's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Nice strike. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. And he landed the right hand there. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. 
he is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. All right, so Francis and Ghana pretty patient here early on and leaning on his jab. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fights behind a jab, it shows you how much he's evolving. He's not just searching for the knockout blow, he's trying to set it up. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his head. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting Good underway. Fight. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice shot to the body there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Man, is he timing his shots well here. Whoa! Big kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice straight punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. How about that shin? Just missed with the left there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. And they separate. Oh, that's a good strike there by Shore. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Ngannou's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Goes to the body there. Oh, big knee to the body, that'll soften him up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, nice strike landed there by Short. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Big body kick. Good body work with that hook by Francis Ngannou. Big kick land. All right, there's the clap for 10 seconds to go. An elbow! What a fight so far. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking through the huddle. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And it was still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. 
big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight right is there. Oh, nice. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Throws the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hand. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he's in the clinch again. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And Ganu's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Straight to the body by the Korean Super Bowl. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean... Hey. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh! He's just... He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. And there is the man of the moment. And